There's always so much going on when you live on a farm. That's what I'm realizing for sure. There's lots of chores, lots of work. It never ends. So this is the work that the fundies have done so far with the pig area, put up this fencing. It's messy, but it's nice. When it's all cleaned up, it'll be great. So they fenced it all out. Pigs will go here. Looks good, right? Yeah. From the divider into three. One, two, three. Three sections. This will be our, what do you call it, a piggery? Pigsty? Pigsty. So this is what they're going to be, and then this other one is going to be the maternity. 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 One week before giving birth, they come out here. Give birth, raise kids for two months, and then we transfer them to another property where they'll grow up and be sold from there. So here is just the mamas. The mamas. mamas and one male. Let's get the other ones out. What are we going to do now? Oh, which one is dinner? Which one is dinner? Which one is dinner? Which one is dinner? The one with no feathers on the neck? No, the... Oh. The big... The big daddy? <laughs> you're, the, you're the lucky one. This is going to be dinner tonight. Roasted chicken. Nyama, nyama, nyama. Nyama ya kuku. Nyama ya kuku.
And then we put the kids to work picking up litter and trash around the compound. So that's their job for the day. George is about to carve the chicken and then we'll bring it inside and start seasoning it up. It's just so different from from what I'm used to. Like growing up I had never once seen a chicken slaughtered or seen how chickens are processed. I just go to the supermarket or a restaurant and the chicken is nicely prepared and they're waiting to be cooked or eaten. So it's very different and a cool feeling to be able to know exactly like where our food is coming from that we're able to raise our own food and prepare it and you'll probably never see me slaughter a chicken i can't even watch i anytime he's cutting the neck or draining the blood i have to go away or else i will lose my appetite and i'll just become a vegetarian <laughs> George was just giving me a tutorial of all the chicken inner parts and my stomach is a little sick now. <laughs> he's showing me the intestines, he's showing me the stomach, the heart. I don't do that. And I believe we're having 20 baby chicks brought in sometime today because we want to increase our layers. We want some more egg production around here. And so I believe like 10 of them or 15 of them should be hens. And five of them will be roosters that we can use for meat. We're going to harvest some thorn melons today. The chickens have eaten all the greens, the plants. It's probably good nutrition for them, I'm guessing. We have a bunch of these. And my mother-in-law also likes them, so she comes to collect them from us. And then we will also harvest some sugar cane. And we'll eat it with the kids later this evening when it cools down because it is hot outside. Saying there's three kinds of sugar cane. Are they all three different? Do they taste different? Yeah. Mm, I guess we'll sample three different kinds of sugar cane then. I should be able to enjoy some sugar cane as well. But I'm so far. 
And then the avocados are coming in nicely. We eat so many avocados around here, so it's exciting to have our own tree. There's some big ones up there that should be about ready to take inside. Here. Here, Liam. So we just got these new chicks. There's 20 of them. They're improved Kienyaji. Mm -hmm. And we get them from Kala Mugambi. And he's at Maryland's Poultry, Poultry Center. And yeah. so if you wait here, let me show the number. Yeah, if you need chickens and you're in Meru, uh, Kala will hook you up with. All type of chickens. Yeah, and there's his broilers. Info. Yeah, uh, we've gotten broilers from him before and they were really great. Thanks, Carla, for all of hooking us up. Thanks for hooking us up. Let's make sure they're all up. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Mokino. Mm. That chicken would know. It is called Mokino. Can you say Mokino? Mokino. Mokino chicken. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Good morning, everyone. Just woke up not too long ago and wanted to come see how the chicks did through the night oh, they're looking good good morning chickies 
You made it through your first night here. And thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.